Our engineers built the robot as a practice robot for new battery troops. It looks like that because... Well, who would want to get it? It's yours to smack around their boss. <laughs>
there's Tal. Come on, we gotta get into that museum and steal the Dimensionator. Hey, you slick! You looking to acquire a little firepower? Now we train this nether beast to obey its master using some mildly invasive brainwashing methods. To swing your fists, it'll attack anyone who dares to get close to you. Are you okay? I keep waiting to hear Krunk snoring or Zephyr yell at him for not taping his soap opera. When the Nethers are banished back to their dimension, the Progs will answer for their crimes. I've been trying to shut down the security system, but Captain Quark forgot the code. I'll take care of it. You just tap into the hollow feed and tell us where to go. Greetings and salutations. I'm Docent 427, your humble tour guide. I will be accompanying you on your odyssey for space, time, and history. Let us begin. Slag has since retired from his life of crime, now lives as a semi-professional beatboxer in Stratus City. This is the Kirchhoff exhibit. These furry creatures may seem adorable, but they are fiercely territorial and prone to bouts of rage when they feel their land is in danger. Interestingly enough, nearly every being in the universe is allergic to them. This, along with their temperament, makes petting one a highly risky proposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This exhibit celebrates two of the galaxy's greatest warbots, Kronk and Zephyr. They fought in a combined 6,132 battles, the most notable being the fight against Emperor Tachyon. They currently work for the Polaris Defense Force. Warning. Historical discrepancy detected. Updating records for docent 427. Oh dear. My mistake. They are dead. Well, this is awkward. Behold the Battle of Gimlet Valley exhibit. It was here Commander Argos, the Butcher of Vernelius, was defeated by Fungoid Chief Zahn Gribnak and two mysterious heroes. Gelatonium is a natural occurring fuel source used to power the vessels and cities of the Polaris galaxy. The multi-stage refining process produces these gelatinous cubes that refinery workers have found irresistibly fun to bounce on. Management those clamped down with the use of tumfoils. Robots who eat gelatonium whenever such silly behavior is detected. The Sages of Polaris, Terachnoids, provide tech support for the entire galaxy. When not belittling their inferior customers, Terachnoids use their supreme brain power to deduce riddles of the universe, like Chaos Theory, the trillionth digit of Pi, or how to answer the question, you're kinda cute, do you want to go out with me? We have now entered the Natural History Week. known land animal of planet Sargasso. Troglosaurs have an average weight of 21 tons and are so big they can be seen from space. These peaceful herbivores are harmless, except for when the occasional explorer or picnic enthusiast ends up stuck to the bottom of their massive feet. to enter the ventilation shaft. Due to a um, lack of funding, we will be taking a detour around the now empty bolt exhibit and raritanium wing.
Oh. <laughs> 